today, episode number 10 of Film Photography Road Trip. We are in Hawaii with a helicopter, a surfboard, and a Leica M6, and also a few friends. This week on Pierre Look at in this. the Wilderness, Look we photograph at these a tree. Colors is beautiful. Look at this. This is like kind of a reddish. And What's that's it taste green. like? been here for a while feel feel that feel that it's like a uh, feutrine uh how do you call that in english i don't know but t- just touch it touch it try it yeah you see oh yeah so it's good huh it's very satisfying imagine you had that on your desk all day you would be like oh hello back in san francisco and united airlines really rolled out the red carpet for us or maybe it was just a wet blue rag Either way, we're on our way to Hawaii, and I gave Marshall some encouraging words. Good work. And you might be thinking to yourself, Hawaii, man, that place is so far away. But as it turns out, it's only like six seconds away, because we're there already. And now we go back, and where we're going to be when... No, it's just Hawaii again. Why is Flex in the rest of America is the fact that their airport, for the most part, is open air. The engineers are probably thinking like, yeah, we don't need to do it, but how sad is everyone going to be to leave and they're going to want to come back? After hitting that upgrade lottery and getting this beautiful white Mustang, very rare on the island, uh, Mustang convertibles, there's very few to choose from, we we're on our way. Marshall's driving this time. Usually I'm driving, so I get to film some things. This is me filming. Convertibles are nice because you can just put your phone right outside of the actual car and get unobstructed views of Hawaii. At the time of recording this, I don't know if I can disclose officially why we were here in Hawaii. Um, If another video from Hawaii has gone up, then I am allowed to disclose. But at the time of recording this voiceover, uh, I can't tell you yet. These are some chickens, I can tell you that. An Ektar 100 which I would wish I would have shot more of. The way that the saturations and the tones come together, I was very, very happy with it, and I would have preferred to stay on Ektar rather than Portra 400, which I ended up shooting a lot on this trip. Right here at the beach. A lot of unusual events going on. Blackhawk helicopters, other helicopters, Chinook helicopters. I don't even know what that was. C-37, I'm just gonna make up plane names until I get one right. And uh, we're taking some photos of some crazy waves. And uh, yeah, I've been in Hawaii for five minutes and uh, I feel like I already have, I don't know, I always feel like I get lots of photos of waves and then I get back to my computer and I have, I have one that's passable. So hopefully higher yield today. Uh, but yeah, pretty and crazy environment that we just found ourselves in. And uh, definitely even crazier with the addition military equipment flying around the beach and also silently, which is really weird. The plane was like completely silent, biggest plane that I've probably seen flying at close distance and uh, yeah, completely silent. Is it electric? This trip, we are on the island of Oahu. There are six major Hawaiian islands and uh, this one is home to Honolulu and also the North Shore. If you've ever seen a photo of surfing in your life, there's a pretty good chance it's probably from here. And the thing I like most about Hawaii is how comfortable the weather is. You just go outside and you just feel amazing every single time. really hope I got that. It was the last frame of Ektar. Good start. First day in Hawaii. Finish the roll of Ektar. 100. Jason Vong just messaged me. He's arrived. Pierre Lambert says, Aloha. Oh, he gave me a video chat. After asking Pierre what the differences between a croc monsieur and a croc madame are, decided to take some more photos of the sunset. And we're back to Portra 400 with the Leica M6 and the 35mm Summicron. Uh, it's an F2, it is version 3, and it's actually made in Canada. Uh, they made Leica gear and equipment in Canada, which is kind of cool. Best fish taco? They've done it? They've done it. Congratulations. <sighs> Congratulations. Are you excited to experience Hawaii's best fish taco? Yeah, I think it's the best here. You want me to open it? Yeah, please. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> what is 
<laughs> After lunch with our new friend, we headed off to Turtle Bay to get on some helicopters. <laughs> Pierre and Donna did it, headed off to the first helicopter. And Pierre's only request was, can you get a little bit of flying footage of us from your helicopter? And we completely butchered it. So sorry, Pierre, that your footage isn't great, but I'm sure what you captured in the helicopter was nice. We're joined in our helicopter by Jason, Vong, and also Vivian, and uh, Marshall too. Marshall's the one taking these videos. Turtle Bay is an amazing spot to, uh, one, stay. If you've seen the movie Forgetting Sarah Marshall, the entire thing is pretty much filmed at Turtle Bay, and Jason Segal lived at Turtle Bay during the time that he was writing it, and that's why it ended up being there. It was a different story. Let's not get into that. I have with me uh, a Canon R5 and the super wide, the 15 to 35. Uh, that is obviously a digital camera. And then I have a, a Fuji GA645W, which is the wide angle Fuji point and shoot. And I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm more happy with the digital images that I took. There's a shot up here. Uh, I'm more happy with the digital images that I took in this uh, environment. I should have brought. I probably should have brought the Leica. At least I would have had 36 exposures. It's. Um, I would consider it to be a challenge to reload film on a helicopter like this with doors off. Uh, you don't want anything to get sucked into the rotor or uh, to drop anything literally outside and into the world. But again. We we're here for another reason, and that reason was digital photography, uh, and this was just kind of a bonus. We were we were in the middle of a trip, actually. The next episode to come out of, from this series will be in California, and we were actually in that California trip uh, where Pierre actually messaged me and was like, hey, do you want to come on this thing? It leaves in like three days. And we were like, well, we're already in the States. We got nothing else going on. Happy to come out rather than I think we we're going up above San Francisco to maybe Highway of Giants, that area. Um, instead, Hawaii. No complaints. Then we headed off for dinner. And I do this thing at restaurants where rather than ordering an actual meal, I just order a bunch of sides. So I wanted the mushrooms, I wanted this wedge salad, and I wanted some mashed potatoes. I don't know if that's weird. I enjoy it. Donna got this gigantic sundae all to himself. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, it's even nicer. Isn't that nice? My white balance is messed up. But... Marshall likes to stay on only shade white balance. So incandescent shots are very warm. You get it. Today, we are heading out for a sunrise photography session. I don't really know what we're going to find. This is kind of interesting. Usually, I am the one in control of the locations and the timing. And today, Ryan's just like, hey, let's get up. Let's go for sunrise. It's like, 4.45 a.m. right now, and uh, let's go take some, I think, lava photos. So there's like a lava landscape. He's like, bring a wide lens. There's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff to take photos of. 28 in the Leica, and then I have the GA645W, which is kind of like a 24, maybe, 26. And, uh, let's go. I'll turn off my softbox. Here we are, yeah. outside, with Pierre. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, Who's jumping in first? I'll go. What you up to? So the trick with uh, landscape photography is that you want to leave the legs as small as possible and extend the center column to max. This is the most stable you can get your tripod. You can also just open it all up, but make sure that the center column is always fully extended. I would love, I would love the volcanic stuff. This sarcasm, just... Yeah. This is really nice. We're out here in the morning. It's the morning time, if you had not noticed. Pierre, T. Lambert, opened his morning beverage, which I assume was a beer, with a Peak Design tripod plate. Hey, can I give you my car? And uh, yeah, I really just opened my eyes to the opportunities that exist within the Peak Design ecosystem. I have Portra 800 in this Fuji. It's great, I love it. GA645W. And I'm gonna go over here real quick.
Really great morning, uh, a landscape that I had not experienced or encountered in my lifetime. And then uh, Marshall turned off his in-body stabilization just for fun. And uh, we did some morning lunges. That's a weird memory card. Big wave, big wave, big wave. I then proceeded to take a number of wildly underexposed images of people standing on rocks. That was kind of nice though. Marshall flying the drone. And then we headed to a coffee shop where I could get my first croc monsieur of the trip. Oh la la, bonjour. <laughs> Marshall and I had plans to film a music video called Two Friends in a White Mustang Convertible in Hawaii, uh, but instead we decided to go do some photos. Marshall and I were protected from the rain. Dunno was just experiencing all of the rain. Uh, <laughs> sorry, man. I then took a few one slash fifteenth of a second images at the side of the vehicle. And uh, I like that one a lot. That one's okay. First one, better. And now we're heading into the last location of our Hawaii experience here on the North Shore of Oahu. We have a Leica M6, a turtle, and a surfer. What a combination. If you received all of those on one of those scratch tickets, you would definitely win a thousand dollars. And for the last frame of the trip, you might be like, that's a nice image. But when you zoom in, yep, that's somebody just playing a ukulele out on the beach. And then it was time for our final dinner of Hawaii. It was probably the best dinner of all the dinners here in Hawaii. Marshall's was so good, in fact, that he actually brought the Instax out. What? Bye, Pierre. Au revoir, mes amis. On se voit très vite. Pierre made the very smart executive decision to remain in Hawaii for an extra couple of days, and I wish that we would have as well. On the way to the airport, we got the best sunset that we had seen the entire week, and that's how it goes. You're either in a Walmart parking lot, TJ Maxx parking lot, a Ross Dress for Less parking lot, and you get these, these beautiful sunsets. Today, on the way to the airport. We arrived at the airport just in time for somebody to sneeze all over Marshall's seat. So he uh, no longer trusts anyone and he will not be coming on any more of these trips because of it. I'm kidding, he'll be around. Thank you so much for joining us here in Hawaii. If you're interested in looking at more of these road trips, there is a link in the description below to take you to the full playlist of all nine other episodes. See you next time from Cal California. Yeah. That was a weird way to say it. <laughs>